A big part of advertising is understanding consumers. Since the biggest consumer I know is my two-year-old daughter, I decided to sit down and try having a conversation with her about ad tech. This is totally going to go off without a hitch. Oh, thank you. Chrome, Firefox, and Safari all depreciated third-party cookies. As a consumer, what's your opinion of cookies? Do you want a cookie? Yeah. Okay, here's a cookie. See, Google? Consumers love cookies. A data clean room is software that allows third parties to use anonymous first-party data. I can't explain what a normal clean room is because you've never seen one in this apartment, so let's give it a shot anyway. What do you say when someone has dropped something well, to the floor? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pick it up, pick it up. You want to pick it up? There you go. An essential part of campaign optimization is A-B testing. Me too. Quack, 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 quack. Which pair of socks would you prefer? Do you mm -hmm. want the pink sock? Or do you want the gray sock? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there, there, there's no A or B testing with a two-year-old. It's basically all or none. When doing influencer campaigns, it's important to make sure the influencers resonate with your specific audience. Do you know who this is? Rachel. Yeah. Do you know who that is? Yeah. No? That's Taylor Swift. Do you know who that is? Cece, do you know who that is? Blippi. Blippi, do you know who that is? Daddy. No, that's Joe Biden. So Khaleesi has no idea who Taylor Swift is. However, she can sing along to every Miss Rachel song ever performed, a YouTube educator you've likely never heard of. It's a great reminder, no matter how much reach an influencer has, there's no such thing as an influencer with universal name recognition. We see a big trend around both media and Ad tech is consolidation. Can you demonstrate consolidation with two bowls of cereal? You gonna mix? Mix, mix, mix. A big issue around search engine optimization right now is Google discriminating against AI-created content. Yes, robots passing as humans is an issue, but so are humans posing as robots. Can you spot the human? I like to fix things. I am a robot. Peekaboo! A metric for success for both advertisers and two-year-old is increasing view time. That involves a lot of counting. Uh, can you count to 10? One, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine socks? Open rate is a metric often focused on for email marketing. Here's how open rate works. You try to open the cash register and I rate how well you do. Can you open up the cash register? One thing that drives advertisers nuts is irrelevant ad placements. So here's what we're going to do. I want to place my ad on a picture of a happy baby. Can you help me find the happy baby? There's the happy baby. No, that's not the happy baby. That's not the happy baby. That's not the happy baby. Nope. Nope. No, there is the happy baby. Good job. Yay! Okay, ad fraud cost businesses $88 billion in 2023 alone. Ad fraud relates to fake ad clicks, but in your life, the biggest fraud is the insane amount of plastic food we buy you. Can you tell me which fruit is real and which fruit is fake? Oh, that's actually kind of fun. What is this? Memory. Lemon, and what is, what is this? Kaya. Kaya. 
That's also lemon. Now, can you tell me which lemon is real and which is plastic? Do you know which was real and which is plastic? Is this real? Yeah, that's an egg. Yeah. Is this also is what's this? No, that's that's an egg, but it's chocolate covered, I guess. Colored, not covered. You're gonna break the egg. Oh no, you broke the egg! Oh no! Uh oh. Here's how you can tell a fake egg from a real egg. The real egg breaks when you smash it. So there you have it, complete anecdotal evidence about how two-year-olds feel about ad tech. Say goodbye, Khaleesi. Bye. Bye. Brush?